My name is Santiago, I play centre mid and I'm captain of the United football team. My name is Adrius, I play centre back and I am the vice captain of the United football team. My name is Ede, I'm the vice captain of the 11 team and I play left back. It's more like, like a thing that you love, isn't it? Like something that you do to you, like just clear your mind. I mean, for me, that's what I do. For, like, Sometimes I just go play football and just forget about everything. Mm, for me, it's a bit, it's more like a hobby, but it's like, it's something that it's fun to do, but I don't know if I, I see myself taking it seriously. It's like one of them. That, so it's like I'm in the middle, but it, it's good. Like, I like it a lot. It's fun. Yeah, I really like football. Um, football brings a lot of people together, as you can see from this World Cup. It's brought the whole world together. And yeah, just wherever football goes, it just brings people together. That's why I love football so much, to be honest, yeah. Mm. Lionel Messi, of course, it has to be him. Is right now. Is that your favourite player or is yeah. that the best player? Oh, it's your favourite player? Favourite. Yeah, Lionel Messi. Okay. Mainly because he was like a Barcelona in and I support Barcelona. Okay, like, I'm, I'm going to have to say Saka. Because, <laughs> nah, because, nah, 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 hear me out though. He's young, and like, look what he's doing with that. Sense. Like, literally, look at the team he has, and look, they're at the top of the league right now. Like, so, I don't know how to explain it, but Sanko, I just like him, I just like him. Yeah, Arsenal fan. Yeah. Makes sense. Me, I, me, I love Angola Kante. Yeah. So also, I'm a Chelsea fan, but I just love him because, like, he's always the shortest player on the pitch, he's doing the most out of everyone. So, yeah, I love, I love Angola. <laughs> Obviously, it's an honour because, like, um, out of like the, I think seven years it's been school opened. I think um, we're the first ever football team, and obviously, right now we're the, like, the first ones. And in a couple of years, they'll, they'll look back and they'll be like, "Oh, these were the first guys that that did it." So it's an honour, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. It's like it is an honour. Uh, I played the first game of, but well, we played the first we game of LGTC. And even though we did not win it, it was still like a good experience. And it's also very nice for school life because there's like, you're involved with so many things. Mm. And like, you're just not a normal student. Like, you have training after school, you have some stuff in school as well. Like, you know, you're more involved. So it doesn't just feel like you're going into school, learning and then going home. Like, you're actually having a bit of fun. Mm. Well, it's very interesting because you're, you're going into every game as the underdog because this is like our first year having a team for, for all years, so it's, it's, it's nice, it's, it's good. A captain. A captain's many things, to be honest. Um, you have to be a leader, first of all. You have to like show respect to others. You have to um, make harsh decisions, like decisions, um, because you might like, there's a penalty at the end of the minute and you're like, oh, he, he takes it and he takes it. You have to step up for that moment, you know. You have to be a leader. Leader's the main thing. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, it is, it's good to be a captain or vice captain. It feels nice. But um, I have to give credits to the captain. He's a, he's a very good player. He's a nice guy as well. He always makes sure that nothing's happening on the pitch. That he makes sure that we're in the game. That is a very good, very good captain. It's, it's, a, it's a beauty for me to be the vice captain, but I have to give credit to the to the captain of the team for making the decisions in the right time. Mm. And what it means to me to be a vice captain, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? Well, for me, obviously, I got two more years here, so obviously, I'm looking for the future, like. You no know, more trophies, maybe like a few medals over there, a few wins. But yeah, that's my aspirations for the future. For me, I wouldn't say in year 10 is uh, obviously win a couple, uh, couple games. But in year 11, I know it might not sound like it will happen, but we're trying to go on like a clean streak, like no losses. Mm. So we're going to try to do that because our team's evolving. That like first game, it was not too shabby, we done good. Second game, we done better, but we still we still lost. But I see the improvement in our team. 
at the end of the day, I just want to win. Just win as many games as possible. I'm not here for that for that long, so as many games I could win, I'll be happy to be honest. Abdul, Abdul, he's a. I mean, he's he's not the average coach. Like, obviously, he's a coach that inspires us, you know, to do to be the best. Obviously, he can't be too harsh on us because of first games. So, like, he'll understand if we like lose. But you know, he puts like he puts that commitment into us and appreciate it. Like, it's good. For me, Abdullah is more like it's more like a friend. He's not really like he coaches us, but like off the pitch. He's like, so nice to us. Like he, he treats us like we're not students. He treats us like a normal people, like a normal friend of his. Mm. So like I find him very good. Like he aspires. Like he does inspire me sometimes because like, his mindset is like very good. So yeah. His his football team he treats us like everybody else. So that's one thing that I could commend him for. I would appreciate. Uh, let's go. Said enough, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>